I used to think of what do you do as my sort of unofficial DM catchphrase. On paper, it seems like a good one. It's all about agency, right? To me, the apotheosis of D&D, of all RPGs, were the choices that you made as a player. You're not a vicarious participant like you are in a book or a film or even in a video game. You're an active one. You're the active participant. You can make choices that no author or screenwriter or developer could ever have anticipated. And what's more, in a good campaign, the world organically responds to the choices you make. So what do you do seems like the perfect motto. Yet over the past few months... I've cooled on it. To me, the very best campaigns were sandbox campaigns, right? You drop the characters into an immersive, interactive, responsive world, and you let them steer the narrative. They dictate where they go, who they meet, which leads they follow. What matters most in the campaign is what they want to do. The thing is, I don't think most players know what they want to do. Let me give you an example. A, a few minor Waterdeep Dragon Heist spoilers. A few weeks ago, there was a huge explosion just down the street from my player's magical mansion. Several people dead, a handful of witnesses, and a crime scene the characters can investigate before the city walk shows up. I mean, what a great hook, right? Literally starts the adventure with a bang. I present this to my players, and I ask the universal question, what do you do? And they didn't know what to do. It was momentarily exciting, but after the smoke proverbially cleared, they mostly just shrugged. And they did eventually discover the information that they needed to progress the adventure, but thanks to their sort of dithering and indecision, it took about three times as long as it maybe realistically should have taken. Is this the adventure's failure? Is this my failure? I think it's a failure of phrasing. The next session, I made one small change to the way I presented information to the party. Now in possession of three possible leads, I asked them, which one do you want to investigate first? After some debate, they chose the mausoleum. And when they arrived there, I asked, who wants to sneak up? And who's keeping guard? And who knows how to pick locks? And it worked like a charm. I mean, it may seem obvious, but all they needed was a little nudge in the right direction, communicated entirely through slight rephrasings, and the adventure came to life with choices and pacing and character moments. I mean, it felt like a completely different party in a completely different campaign. Don't forget, you as a dungeon master can see all the options in your head and they seem very clear to you, but you have to ask yourself, how opaque are they to my players? Sometimes a little transparency is good. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to ask a leading question or two. What have I learned? I mean, there is such a thing as too much choice. Don't be afraid to steer your party when they need it.